Hey everybody, just want to show you guys this new air fryer I got. This thing is like the Cadillac of them, of them all. She's built good. 8.5 quart Paula Dean. It's got a ceramic coating. Giant basket. Let me just give you an idea here how big this is. Plenty of room for a Tokyo's. Oh yeah, that's a plus. But uh, the drawer slides in, no problems. Doesn't ever have a problem. It came with the tongs, like cake pan thing. This here you put in, like if you don't want your stuff sitting in the grease, like wings or whatever, you put this in and it keeps them up like a rack. And then it's got this toaster. Like you can toast bread, I haven't tried it. Put your bread slices in there and they won't fly around, hit the fan. Very cool. But it came with all these um, attachments. No digital, which is cool, I don't mind it. Um, you turn it to whatever time, you te your uh, temperature, you turn the outer dial, it goes up to 430, which most of them only go to 400 or 390. Quiet, listen how quiet it is. Really quiet. So I just want to show you guys, I've been very impressed with it. And this one you can turn when, when it's done, you can just turn the dial to off. A lot of the non-digital ones, you just have to kind of leave the drawer open and let the timer kick down. But this one you can turn it down. But uh, it's built really good, it's really easy to clean. It's, you know, there's not an inner basket, so you only got the one piece to clean. So that's really cool. Um, like I said, it's real quiet. Nice stainless, uh, nice insert here, you know what I mean? It's a good, clean, cool design. Doesn't take any more room than any of them. You know, the, uh, the Cook's Essential one I have here, I'll show you too. But uh, I'm real happy with it. It's got temperatures and everything on the top, presets. That's about it, all I can think of. Um, like I said, I've been real happy with it. Lots of room in there. So, that's it. Let me show you side view here. Now, this one I've been happy with. Cook's Essentials. No one, none of these people paid me or uh, give me anything free for this. I'm just doing these. But this is a Cook's Essentials one. I've used the hell out of this one. And as you can see, that basket is just holding up great. You can do chicken wings and everything will be stock all in it and I can just hit it with a sprayer and, and spray it right out. I don't even have to use a sponge barely, you know. So this one's been really good. Uh, let me show you a comparison of the two baskets here. Let's see. That one's kind of, you know, the same size, but Really, you can fit a lot more. But this is a good size one, though, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's, it's, it's real close. This is what a 5.3 quarter, 5.5. But, uh, the only problem with both of them is you gotta get them. This was QVC, and the other one was uh, evine.com. And they take like two, three weeks to get them. I don't know how that company even. I don't know how anybody buys from QVC. I don't like to wait for stuff. But once you get them, you're, you're good. But I don't like to wait. So both of these are really good. Way better than a Power Air Fryer XL. I won't ever buy one of them again. But just wanted to show you this new one, the Paula Dean 8.5 eight quart. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you want a good air fryer, get you one of these. I'm telling you, you'll be happy with it. It did have a smell of plastic when I, it, it doesn't tell you in the instructions, but I, I heated it up with nothing in it and burned it off. And it did have a hell of a strong plastic smell coming off of it. So it did go away though after the first time. But that's with any new appliances, you're gonna have some stuff, you gotta burn the stuff off of the paint and the smells. And, but if you have any questions, post them and I'll answer you. If you want to see me cook in it, I'll cook some wings or something in it. Let me know or, or subscribe and you'll see it. So thanks for watching. Peace out.